All spills. All spills occur quite often more than we actually think. I remember in 2016 when Shell discharged oil in the Gulf of Mexico. It was so awful. It affected our environment, animal life. It affected the fishing companies because they could not go out and get fish and shellfish to sell to consumers because the oil had destroyed all of the fish. Now, how did Shell manage to clean the oil spill? Well, guys, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to clean an oil spill. And while we're doing this, I will share some things with you concerning oil. Oil is a non-renewable source. All is found beneath the earth's surface. And so when companies like Shell, they go out and drill, they have to drill for the oil. Now, sometimes they drill for the oil and then they put it into uh, tankers and begin to transport it across the ocean to take it to the refineries. And as they're taking it, accidents can occur. And when that occurs, there are leaks. So now we have a leak and if you look closely, you can see that it is near land. Let's see the different ways that Shell came up with ways to clean the oil spill over time. Once a company has an oil spill like Shell, they use different methods to clean up the oil spill. First, they take what we call a boomer, and a boomer is used to stop the oil from spreading. We're going to use this pipe cleaner, and we're going to take it, kind of drag the oil that I see over here and over here, and bring it to this little area. Okay. Once we have it contained, next we're going to begin to clean it. And so the first thing, once they begin to clean it, they use skimmers. A skimmer that they use is a boat that will go along and collect the oil off top. We're going to use several methods to skim the oil. First method, we're going to take a spoon and just skim the oil from on top that we see. See how much we can gather. There's some floating over here, so I'm going to go over there and pick that up. The next method is a pipette. We're going to take the pipette. And we're going to see where the oil is and skim from on top. And decide which method works best. Next, we're going to take just a simple sponge and just lightly press on top to see if we can get any oil up. If you can see that, it's a little slick and shiny because that's what oil does. It reflects the light. We have a stocking, more like a filter. And we just take this piece, put it on top where our oil is contained. Just sort of drag it. And I'm going to go to some other places. Um, it did okay. It's not the best method, but it did get a little bit. And last, our skimmer, we're going to try the cotton balls. Now, if you decide to do this activity, you can use whatever things you have at home 
to test to see if you can clean the oil spill or at school. Now that we've skimmed the oil, shell companies, the next step that they will take is that they will burn the rest of the oil off. Or the last one, they will use a dispersant, a chemical, uh, more like soap, and they will spread the soap around. I'm going to add a drop of oil just for this part because we've cleaned up quite a bit. And they just drop that oil in there so that the oil, I mean the detergent, so that the oil disperse into smaller bubbles, which we saw. Let's do that again so you can see it. Here's your oil. We're going to put a drop and it disperses it out. Now that it has been dispersed out, we will take paper towels and see if we can get the rest of the oil now that it's dispersed a little bit. So just stamp that on top, dab it, dab it. And there's quite a bit of oil on here. I'm going to go on shore. Because remember, when the oil spill occurs, the water is moving because of the current. And on shore, there's oil. So that's why our birds and the rest of our environment is affected by the oil spill. Now that we've cleaned up most of the oil, let's talk about our environment. Cleaning an oil spill is not easy, is it? Well, it is not easy for companies that have an accident. Oil spills are not done on purpose because it affects our environment. It affects the birds, it affects other animals, it, is, it affects the sea life, sea creatures, the fish, and when those things, animals and sea life are affect, affected, so are we as humans. Fishing companies have to close down because they can't get the product they need in order to sell. If someone was to consume fish that was coming from an oil spill, waters that was an oil spill, they could get sick because oil is poisonous. So we need to protect our environment and we need to be careful of what we even pollute into our waters. It is so great that companies that drill are taking precautions and bringing into methods and things in order to keep our environment safe as they drill oil and move oil from one place to another. Remember, oil is non-renewable and it is a fossil fuel that is important that we use all the time. All right, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video today and I hope you would do an oil simulation so that you can see what it takes to clean an oil spill.